Today, guys, we're looking at Crosshair X, a simple application that will allow you to add a crosshair to any game on PC. Hey guys, it's Forrest or Dave here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at an application called Crosshair X Overlay. It's on Steam and this is a sponsored video. Partnering up with Centerpoint Gaming, I've partnered up with them before, did a video a few months back on their application ProSite. Crosshair X is essentially an upgraded version of ProSite with a lot of new features that enable you to add a crosshair to any game on PC. This is really good for any games which just don't have crosshairs in the first place that could be helpful. So things like Rust, things like Sea of Thieves. Uh, it's also really good for games that just don't have custom crosshair support. Maybe they have crosshairs, but you don't really like how they look. So games like Warzone, you know, you don't have a custom crosshair support in that. Games like Fortnite, there's a lot of big games out there which don't have custom crosshairs like Valorant or, um, or CSGO has. So it's nice to have that option in your back pocket and this application you can currently pick it up for £2.89 on Steam and I, I'm going to do a quick kind of review of it, show you guys how you actually use it and show you why it's better than a lot of other alternatives out there. So let's jump into the application. Now this is what you'll be greeted with when you first open up the application in Crosshair X. You'll see a get started section and a settings section. So let's go through each of these sections. Explore is just like an, an overview basically. It shows you some featured ones. Um, so Ones like classic, classic red style, uh, chunkier blue style. These are all the kind of standard style crosshairs that you would normally see. We've then got a community section that says get inspired by seeing all the crosshairs being designed by others. These are all just really good starting points. Uh, so you can select any of these and have a go with it. When you guys first open it up, you'll probably have the crosshair appear at the middle where I don't yet. And I'll show you why in just a second. But we can go into the featured section at the moment. There's only six things featured here. So these are good just starting points, as I said. The community tab already has a load of different ones. And so you can see a lot of people are trying to make different ones for different styles. So you might like just a little dot. You might like uh, just the three lines going on down here. You might like one of these big chunky ones with the, with the lines on the side. Lots of interesting places to start from. And then saved is where you have crosshairs that you've saved. So if I came in here and wanted to favorite a couple of these, so I like this one, I could give it a name and I could call this one purple standard because it looks like a pretty standard purple crosshair. Save that and it goes into my saved section, which is really handy. And I like that you can name them yourself as well so that you can keep track of, you know, potentially which game you like using in or stuff like that. The next section we'll have a look at is this exclusive full screen section. And this is going to be very interesting because this is where uh, the real strength of this application comes in is that we have an option to either run in exclusive full screen mode or windowed full screen. So windowed full screen, if I click this, you'll then be able to see the crosshair that we made earlier. Uh, and we can then go down to position, we can move the crosshair position and stuff, but it's centered for me at the moment, which is all good. So this will be good if you're playing a game in windowed or windowed full screen mode, uh, basically where the game isn't exclusively taking up uh, your desktop space. It's kind of hard to explain what I'm trying to say here, but if you try and run a game in exclusive full screen and you have this windowed full screen option here, then this won't overlay over your game because the game will take priority and therefore you won't get your crosshair. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to click this exclusive full screen button. You'll see that the crosshair will disappear. Now I'm going to have to overlay some footage here of me going on my phone and recording the screen because OBS will not pick up this because we're actually running this in an overlay that sits kind of over everything else. It's very hard to record and so it becomes quite hard to explain but put in some footage here and we'll try and make it make sense. So come on this exclusive full screen area and you're going to click this link button. What this will do is it will lead you to the Microsoft Store and you'll have to install the Crosshair X extension. This is essentially an extension for the Xbox Game Bar. So I can show you how we can activate the Game Bar. Make sure we are on uh, our settings menu. Go to the gaming area and then make sure that Xbox Game Bar is on. Once that's all installed, we're then going to open up the Game Bar. So this is where I'm going to have to play some other footage over this. But we're going to press Windows G and the Game Bar opens, as you can see in the footage shown here. You're then going to come up to the widget menu. Click that and open up the Crosshair X extension. Hopefully your crosshair will be centered. If it's not, you can move this box around by clicking and dragging. Um, you can basically get it lined up by playing a game and moving the crosshair into the right position so you can see where the center of your crosshair would be. Or you could put on a video in the background, like a YouTube full screen video of someone playing a game like Warzone or something where the crosshair is already centered and then move it into position. It's a little bit of trial and error, but once you've got it in position, it will stay there. 
The last couple of things you need to do is make sure in the top right you've got enable click through. So you can see here I can enable and disable it. So we're gonna make sure we enable click through. And then you're going to click pin me on the crosshair extension. I'm then gonna click Windows G again. And right now for me on my screen, I can now see this crosshair, which is awesome. I can see this crosshair working as it should be. And it's running in an exclusive full screen compatible mode. So what we'll do now is we will jump into the designer and we'll have a little play around with it. And I'll hopefully be able to show you this. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go back, put it to windowed full screen mode so you can at least see there we go, you can see now my crosshair. So in the designer area, uh, we can do things like add a center dot that's uh, decently big. It also has this uh, basically firing mode where if I hold down click, you'll see it goes outwards. It's like it has bloom to it. We can disable that by turning this firing down. Not something I would use, so that's what this firing option does. Oh, didn't mean to click that. Uh, I would probably have a small center dot, so we can change the size of the center dot here. So a small center dot. Um, we've got how the uh, opacity of the lines. So let's make them fully, uh, fully see, fully so you can see them. I don't want to see through them. Uh, we'll make the lines a little bigger. We'll make them a bit thinner though. Um, ooh, how do we want this? We've got the T, or no, we'll go for the plus. You start to see we can do all sorts of little playing around things. So I'm going to go for a little crosshair, something like this. Uh, I'm not a massive fan of the color, so I'm probably going to go for my standard green color, uh, center dot. Let's make that green as well. And let's make the outline green as well. And then we end up with a fairly in-your-face crosshair. Potentially not exactly what I would use, but you can start to see we've got a load of different options for customization here, which is awesome. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you that this works in exclusive full screen. And once again, we're going to have to go back to the phone uh, to show you guys this all working. So I'm going to go back to exclusive full screen, click that button. I've got my uh, overlay extension running through game bar. And so we're ready to jump in game. So let's have a look. Okay, so here we go, guys. I'm actually recording on the phone in real time here, so you can see the proof is in the pudding. Here we go. We are in a Rust server, and you can't see it on the screen over here, but if I zoom in with my phone, you'll see we have a crosshair and a pig or a hog trying to make its way over to me. So there we go, a crosshair in Rust, nicely centered and ready for us to get some easier shots against people who don't have crosshairs. And so there we go, guys, that is Crosshair X. I'd highly recommend this to anyone who's playing games, as I said, like Rust, like Sea of Thieves, they're the two ones that stick out in my mind at the, mo at the most in terms of not having a crosshair, but potentially you'll want one in those games. So go and check it out, it's very cheap, just under three pounds. I, I don't know how much it is in terms of dollars on the Steam store, but go check it out. There'll be a link in the description for you guys to go purchase this application. And I hope you've all enjoyed this video. If you want more from me, then be sure to subscribe down below and like the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.